We're now going to set the uh, hinge plate positions. Uh, so using the uh, Profile Systems uh, BF73 catalogue, which describes the spacings in here, I've just made myself some little uh, jig plates. So I have one for the top and one for the bottom. Uh, in case of just unscrewing these little good screws with a 2.5 Allen key, I tend to just slot my jig in that position there, so it's butt up against the after profile at the top. Slide my hinge plate up to there. And just tighten that little piece. Yeah, and tighten the second one. So that's the, the top side. And then do the same for the bottom. So just insert my little jig piece. Do this in time. So slide it up to that plate. And then tighten back up. So that's set the position for my top hinge and my bottom hinge. Uh, because we're just working a small sample, you'd also uh, intermediate set your other position hinges equally up and down the, the frame. Right, next job for me after setting those hinge plate positions is gasketing the outer frame section all the way around. Um, this is a, just a cross section for you to see, so that's the cross section outer frame. Um, oh, that's the wrong way around. Don't want to be doing that, do I? Uh, so just, it's just a simple push fit into that section there, all the way around the outer frame. Uh, so with this in mind, it's just a, a simple push fit. So it's, it's up to you guys whether you're just doing sections, as some people do, like one piece cut and angle the sections or you go around in a complete section and you go around there. If you are going to do them in section pieces just remember to uh, glue the corners uh, to stop the shrinkage. With all the gas skin completed around the outer frame, we're just going to insert the steel running track now at the bottom. Uh, so again, I'll just show you a side section. So we're actually going to run it in this piece here, and it basically just fits sort of in there like so. So we're just going to do that on the piece down here. So you've got your steel running track, uh, and if you just know, sort of nose feed it in first, you should sort of push fit in here that click. It's a case of just running that down all the way now until it all fits to the very end. Okay, so that bit's complete. We'll move on to the, the gasket in this section. So it's just a cover gasket. So we have a cover gasket on this side and also the one on the opposite top side. So we'll do that now. Our steel running tracks in, we're just going to fit this cover gasket as I mentioned before, which is just in here. Um, when it's extruded, normally may come in a, a, a dual roll, so it's dual formed, so you just have to separate it. I've already cut these into length, separate it out. And it's just a simple push fit into the bottom section, all along the bottom, making sure you don't overstretch it. We've got one for the side, which is going to be the, the, the lock side. So that'll fit in here. Okay. And then we've got one for the top, which is the top. And the gasket that I'm putting in currently is the, is the, is the DBA1134. One, one, That's all the gaskets in, the cover gaskets for the outer frame. So I'm done. Cover gasket completed on this side, bottom side, top side, and lock side. Next part is just to insert your 
gaskets in between the hinge plates. And the important thing with this is just to remember that there's, there is a it, the section is actually offset, so therefore the gasket itself, I don't know if you can see from that, is actually offset. So you need to make sure you get the right side into the gasket. Um, the only difference is if you put it the opposite way around, it won't finish nice and flat and flush. So it's just a push fit straight into that section, all the way down like so. So this one I've got in my hand is just the middle section, which I've already cut. So again, just pop that between the two hinge plates. I've cut the top section one already, just making sure I get the right way around. So that's that side. Into there. And then the bottom one is just here. Okay. So that's the gasket for that side. So there we have the outer frame section completed. Uh, the only thing that we didn't cover was the drainage uh, holes, which is covered in the actual technical manual. Uh, it'll give you all the diagrams and sizes for your drainage uh, front face and sill face systems. And also what we just didn't do is the two pack glue, which is for the glue holes in the corners next to the mechanical screw. So once you finish your frame, if you glue your frame up, uh, leave it to dry uh, for about 12 hours, then it should be set ready to go. Okay, so we'll move on to the making of the sashes now.